Hi, Patrick here, Half Cheeto Will View. It's Tuesday, and if it's Tuesday, that could only mean one thing. Uh, that means it must be library day, and it is. Uh, let's see. Well, today was bag sale day. And so, uh, as that's the uh, day every month, they do the last week of every month as bag sale, which means you can get in and fill up your bag for six dollars anything you can fit in your bag uh short of brand new books coming in or specialty books uh you can load inside your bag so i did uh so i'll show you what i got and uh i've been pretty lucky the last three weeks the one things i haven't probably haven't shown which i should have is that um i managed to find the three of the last four um preston and child books the the Pendergast series. Uh, I managed to find three of the four. Uh, I found this one today, uh, Old Bones, uh, which is on hardback. So I got Old Bones, I got Scorpion's Tail, and I got uh, Bloodless. So this is three of the last four. I think I'm missing one more. Uh, I love these guys. These guys write excellent books. It's a combination of mystery, Sherlock Holmes, and science fiction uh, in it. Yeah, I said science fiction in a in a de uh, uh, detective book, but it works. It works really, really well. Um, fantastic series. Uh, they sp have spun off uh, some different characters, Nora Kelly and Corey Swanson, into their own adventures, which I think is a very smart thing to do. Keeps interest there. And they have a lot of ideas to share, so why not? And so I've been looking at these for a long time, ever since they've been, you know, announced that they were coming out. But it hasn't been until the last three weeks that I managed to pick up uh, one per week. So, yay. All right. But I know you guys are here for the movies, right? You guys are all here for the movies, so we will do this. Um, all right. So... Everything we got here is basically, I don't know, like 50 cents a piece. Works out to 50 cents a piece. Might be worked out a little bit more, a little less. Um, but I picked up, I picked up season six of NCIS. Um, I also picked up a couple of seasons of a series that I heard about, but actually had never seen before until until today. Uh, I got. The first and second season, the, the second season's in here. I'll show you out of the first season's in here. But I got the second season of Rome. Really nice box, too. Really nice box. Nice layout. Uh, nice layout. Has a booklet in there. Um, really cool. I think this came out of Showtime or HBO. Um, not really. Uh, HBO. Came out of HBO. So I, rem I remember hearing it, but never getting a chance to see it since so it was on cable. I have a feeling it's going to be sort of like Spartacus, but I could be wrong, but I got that feeling from it when I heard about it. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Got a few Blu-rays here today, uh, which is really funny. It's like just posted this up today as one of the movies that to for, um, for Dollar Tree Theater. Uh, I had a DVD copy of this movie, and when I went to the, to the library... I picked up a, a, a Blu-ray copy, and that's Rock and Rolla. So this is one of the movies that you guys can vote on for this week's Dollar Tree Theater. Uh, so I'm really happy to get the, the, uh, the Blu-ray version of it. All right. But I don't think it's going to win. Uh, I think you guys are all going to vote for Attack of the Killer, uh, Attack of the Killer, uh, Killer Donuts. And who's to blame you? Uh, all right, I got some uh, animation. I got uh, Ron's Gone Wrong. Uh, this is really cute. And this was actually a library copy. I actually got something for the library. So Ron's Gone Wrong. I haven't seen this, but I heard about it. I heard it's pretty cute. Uh, also at the library today, I picked up a copy of Turning Red, which is from Pixar and Disney. And yes, I heard this is also very cute as well. A lot of people really like that as much as uh, a lot of people really like this too. Uh, and speaking of animation, keep going. 
uh, Adam's Family 2. So I got that as well. Okay, and Blu-ray. Okay, I got a, a Dragon Dynasty movie. Uh, come drink with me. So it's supposed to be excellent right here. Um, this is supposed to be uh, just classic, you know, classic uh, uh, martial arts. Can't wait to see it. I'm glad to see it in the library. We used to get a lot more martial art movies there. Um, but not so much lately, but maybe this is a spark right here. Um, this is nice to see. So I'm looking forward to seeing this quite a bit. In fact, I have a feeling it'll probably be one of the movies that I ask, for, ask you guys to vote on for Dollar Tree Theater. Uh, and also got Spider-Man No Way Home. Yay me. Well, that's, that's awesome right here. Super stoked to get this at the library. Uh, that way I didn't have to pay $30 for it. <laughs> I paid less than 30 I paid 50 cents. Can't go along with that. Thank you. Thank you, library. All right, um, that's right, we're still, we're going through the bag, kids, going through the bag, all right, and here's the first season of Rome, I don't know how many seasons it got, I have to look it up to see what it, what it is, hopefully it's just two, but uh, we'll see, I mean, if it's two, it means I got, I completed the series, which means I can watch it, so we'll see. If anybody's seen Rome, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Am I going to be entertained? Or, uh, which I think I will. I think I'll be entertained. Uh, next up, um, I found something. Uh, this is my, uh, this is my second book. This is my, let's see. No. Oh, this is, yeah, this is my second steel book that I found. I found a steel book for Fast and Furious 6. That was un unexpected. So, yeah, when I see a steel book at the library, I'm definitely going to pick it up. Uh, this is in pristine condition. Uh, it says it carries the Fast and Furious soundtrack in it, but I don't think it, there wasn't a, a spot for it, so I think someone just tossed it in to keep it, uh, keep it together. But I got the, uh, the, the soundtrack to this movie as well. Uh, I can't remember if I've seen six or not. I think I did see six. I think it's the one where they, uh, yeah, where that's the one where they introduced uh, the rock to the to the action, which is an excellent one. This is a lot of fun right here. And let's see, and what else do we get? Uh, we got a really cute movie with Amy Adams and Matthew Good called Leap Year. Of course, Amy Adams is well known from all over the place. Matthew Good, you might remember him from The Watchmen. He played the main bad guy, Ozzy Mandis. I'm not so sure he's a bad guy, but debatable. But he played Ozzy Mandis, and he's been—he's a really good actor. He's—he's he's done some really great things. So I uh, picked that up, and the last thing I picked up, I have missed on, like the last four times, twice because I didn't pick it up. Um, well, I actually all four of the four times I saw it, I actually saw it at the library. Um, I, I missed picking up all four times because they wanted $10 for it. So that has always been out of my budget for something like that. So I just been patient. I knew I'd see it sooner than later and I could get it for a really good price. And lo and behold, today was that day. And that is, I got Band of Brothers. Super stoked to get this super happy um it's a steel book comes as, as a steel book um in in pristine condition as well super happy to get this so um i've gotten i got the pacific and i got i got that from the library which is excellent and now uh, band of brothers so yeah i was pretty stoked with that that was like that was the big thing for me um all that and, and everything else but the band of brothers that's something i've been looking for for a while and to get it for basically for 50 cents is just an outstanding price for it right all right uh that is it for library day let me know what you think down below 
uh, let me uh, let me let me know what your thoughts of, of what I got and if what you would watch first. Uh, what what's of everything that I got? Would you watch first? Uh, and, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, Rock and Rolla is up for this week's vote. So if you go to my community tab, you can vote for Rock and Rolla for Dollar Tree Theater. But it's up against tough competition. Um, Rock and Rolla is going against uh, Attack of the Killer Donuts. And also going against Gamera in Gamera vs. Monster X. That's right. Uh, we broke out Kaiju uh, on you guys this week. Plus, of course, we got the always the most popular thing, it seems like, in uh, Dollar Tree Theater. And that is Cheetah's Choice. Because everybody knows that Cheetah knows how to pick a movie. Um, Alright, well that's it for us. Thanks so much. We'll see you next Tuesday for Dollar Tree, uh, for Library Day. And uh, we'll see what we can find. Thanks for watching. And I uh, appreciate your uh, support. And we'll talk to you soon. Peace.